Hey and welcome to the introduction and tutorial of the UI heading. So let's have a look. UI heading will be visible under your third party apps. What you can do with this is you can add headings from H1 to H6. And some really nice features are you can choose uh, from any font family offered on the Google library. So let's have a look and add a nice title here. By default, the title will look blue and have a border below it. Page is a bit slow today. So let's start, for example, by selecting a font family. So clicking on the first button, you will be taken to a page where you can uh, choose your uh, font family. On the left, you can filter those by category, narrowing down the options. And you can also search by name if you already know which name, you, which uh, font family you're looking for. So let's, for example, go with a serif font so we can see. Also, when you click on a font family, you can see that all the available weights will be showing up. You got the regular. 700 and 900 for this font family but if you take for example another you can see that it has 100 300 regular and 700 the lower the number the lighter the font will be so you can see here with this roboto slab at 100 it's really thin let's go with this for example so once you're happy with your font family and the font weight you can click on save and on done and then you can see your title has been added. The next thing you obviously want to do is add a title. You can do this by highlighting the add your title uh, input field and then add your custom title. <coughs> and the next thing you can choose whether your heading will be which uh, type of heading it will be between h1 and h6. Let's leave it at an h1. You can obviously choose the color of your title. Let's go with a with a gray dark dark gray color. You can also choose your letter spacing. This is a value in pixels. This will create some letter spacing between each letter of your title. The line height, whether you want to use a background or not. We're going to switch it up in this case, or no, we're going to leave it actually. You can choose the background color, of course. You can also choose the transparency of your background color. Instead of using a solid background color, you can also choose to use a vertical gradient or a diagon diagonal gradient. We're not going to go with any of those, we're just going to leave it. Also, when you choose your gradient, you can see that you have the option of choosing two colors. It will always be the top color and the bottom color. You can, of course, align your title to the center, left or right. You can add a border at the top. Choose that border color. Let's add, for example, a border. This is really light, it's the same as the background, so let's go with a darker color. You can choose the color, just like we said. You can also specify for each border what type of border it will be, if it's a dotted, dashed, or solid. Let's leave it like this. And you can do this for each border. So on the border, uh, the top, the right, the bottom, and the left. Those are all those settings. And here you can specify the margin on the top and the margin on the left. Now, with the other setting here, horizontal padding, you can see that now that we have chosen a background color that our title starts immediately at the edge, at the left edge of that. If we would add some horizontal padding, we would be moving this tile f away from the edge. So you can see now we moved it 15 pixels away from the left and the right edge. Horizontal padding will do the same but from the top and bottom. So if we would increase that to a really high number, let's say for example 50, you can see that now we have a like a huge title. 